Hi, Steve, KB3ORG here, and today we're in the Home Shack, and we have a new antenna we're going to try out. We've had a lot of reports on this antenna. It's the DX Stream by Ultimax. It's an EdFed antenna that does all bands uh, from six meters up, and it's only 53, right there, 53, 53 feet long, it's, and like I said, it's an N-fed. Uh, a couple of uh, friends of mine have had it, have great success on it. Uh, it's great for HOA environments, and where I'm at is, I'm kind of bound by some of those restrictions. I can't have obnoxious antennas all over, so I thought maybe this might be my answer to get on the HF. So we're gonna unbox this, I'll show you what it looks like, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put it up outside, and then we're gonna run some tests and see how it goes. So, here we go. Okay, it comes in a pretty small box, and I imagine there's not much to this. There's some directions, and there's the the ballon. and the wire. Just two pieces. Uh, there's a business card in here. Again, that was Ultimax Antennas, and I'll put a link in to, to these guys at the end. Now, one thing uh, with the instructions that was interesting when I was reading these, uh, as I said, I put a couple of these up with some hams, and uh, let me see if we, I don't know if you can catch this on the paper, I'll put a diagram up too. They say if this thing is six feet or higher off the ground, you don't need radials. That was one of the big pluses for me, because again, with my environment, I, I can't have a lot of wires laying around. Uh, but they have the end of the wire here sloping down into the ballon, which is at the lowest point. Now, all the setups I've done with my friends and the, uh, the, the other hams, it's been reversed to that, and the ballon's been up at the top, and it's sloped down to the end, and it's worked for them. Now, I haven't reached out to Olimax and asked them if it makes a difference or if they designed it a certain way, but that's one of the tests I'm interested in seeing today is when we get it up there, is how it works opposite of what they said. If it works just as good for me as it does for, for the other, my other ham friends. Um, other than that, there's, there's not much to this thing. Uh, just, just two pieces. So we're going to go out back now and we're going to put this thing up and then we'll come back inside and we'll, we'll run some tuning and some tests on it. Okay, so I was going to video uh, the putting up of the antenna and how I mounted it and all that, but I didn't want to draw any attention. I, I didn't want the neighbors to say, hey, what's he doing? You know, look at that guy with all the antennas. So I didn't want to drag the equipment out there to, to do a video of all that. And I need to do it also quickly, again, so the neighbors could not see really what I'm doing. And more importantly, I didn't want to induce any SRI into the shack, because we all know how deadly SRI can be when it gets into the shack. Okay, if you see on the diagram, I've highlighted in red roughly where the wire goes from the high point of the ballon down to the low end where the wire is attached at the end of the house. Uh, this is pretty perfect that you can't see it well on the photograph. Uh, that means it's going to be pretty well hidden from other people. It's not going to just stand out to people and say, oh, there's that guy with all those antennas. Uh, so this is perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over here, and we'll fire up the radio, and we'll try and see if we can get some contacts. Okay, so we're going to start off here actually going to start off at 80 meters and I just want to see how this thing tunes so let's give this a fast tune here and it looks like I got a match but we're going to I'm not sure so let's just give a quick shout out here and uh, see if we can get anybody is the frequency in use our oh, 39 it looks like I'm got a flat match with the tuner and I'm putting out a hundred so let's just see what happens it's the frequency in use CQ 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 KB3 ORG CQ CQ KB3 ORG CQ CQ KB3 ORG
CQ, 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 KB3ORG, CQ, CQ, KB3ORG. All right, I did a quick scan of the band up here on 80 before um, we tuned it all, and there's not much activity going on right now, but according to my meters, I have a flat match with the antenna tuner, and I'm putting out a full 100. So it looks like 80 meters is a go with this antenna so far. Let's pop down to uh, 40 meters and see what we got down there. Um, at the, about the middle of where I can broadcast, which is uh, 7236. And I'm gonna, it doesn't sound like there's anybody out there right now, so I'm gonna give a quick tune and uh, uh, do a quick broadcast to see, see where we're at with the match. Well, it looks like it found a flat match. Let's uh, let's go out there and see what we can get. Is the frequency in use? Okay, on that on that key up, I'm got a one to one, and put out a full 100 according to the meters here. So let's let's we're at two three six. So let's just give a throw the hook in a little water and see what happens. Is the frequency in use? CQ, 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 KB3ORG, CQ, CQ, KB3ORG. CQ, 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 KB3ORG, CQ, CQ, KB3ORG. I'm kind of high up for 236 for any activity, so I want to go a little down in the band on 40 here to see if we can find somebody. So we're down here at 7185. I'm going to tune this up again. Alright, it's telling me I got a 1 to 3, 1.3, and I'm going to put out a full 100. So let's, uh, let's throw the hook in the water again and see what happens. Alright, you can hear stuff coming in, so this thing's definitely got some ears. Let me go a little farther up the band so I can get away from them. We're at 7190. the frequency in use. CQ, 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 KB3ORG, CQ, CQ, KB3ORG. CQ, 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 KB3ORG, CQ, CQ, KB3ORG. Okay, as you saw, we scanned around the bands we didn't get anybody to answer back but um, that's the wonderful thing about the magic of video editing is the next night uh, I came home and threw the radio on and here's what happened you'll notice this by the change in my outfit CQ 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 KB3 ORG CQ 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 KB3 ORG Alpha Echo 4, Quebec Uniform. Alpha Quebec, copy KB3RG. Yeah, KB3RG, this is Alpha Echo 4, Quebec Okay, I got an Alpha Echo 4 Quebec uniform. This is Kilo Bravo 3 Ocean Romeo Golf. You got it just good. We're out in uh, eastern Pennsylvania, just outside Philadelphia. Okay, uh, KB3ORG. Okay, uh, what's the name on that? 
Name here is Steve, Sierra Tango Echo, Victor Echo. Yeah, I didn't catch your name, but uh, yeah, we're 40 degrees up here. Uh, it goes down to about 20 at night, and it's around and around 40 average during the day. Uh, we're uh, kind of in a warm spell right now. successful test for 40. Okay so as you can see we made some contacts on 40 meters. I made a couple more contacts after that one and a couple days after that I was back on the radio and I made more contacts. Um, I didn't show you guys tuning on every band because uh, there was just nobody out there to talk to and but I did was able to tune that using my external tuner I was able to tune six meters all the way up through 80 meters. Couldn't tune 160. Again, I think it's my setup. So I want to take that one end of the antenna. I'm going to get that up. So the whole thing is above the roof of the house. Um, and we'll see how that works. Uh, Ultimax says that you can use the standard internal tuner on any radio to tune. I could not use the internal tuner on my Yaesu 1200, but again, I think I don't have that ideal situation that they want. I'm too close to us, uh, the metal objects, the roof of the house, but the LDG external tuner tuned it right up. I mean, the highest I was was on 80 meters and I was a 1.7. Uh, which you know you can't ask for anything really better for that and I was putting out a full 100 watts so that definitely worked with me with the external tuner all right so let's summarize what we all just saw here um, would I recommend this antenna absolutely this is a perfect antenna for an HOA situation like mine I can hit all the bands except for 160 and I think I just need to tweak that and I'll be able to do it um, it's no longer than the length of my uh, the trailer that I'm in, so it's it's perfect. And you can, can't even see it when you're driving down the road. You, you can't even see it off on the horizon. It's, they, they, nobody even knows it's there. Um, I don't even think my wife knows it's up yet, uh, or she does, and she's holding on to that information. Um, this is a perfect antenna to take uh, in your backpack out to the park. Uh, it's, it's great for a field expedient antenna for like field day. Uh, in May we have a radio day coming up with one of my uh, radio clubs and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to buy another one of these antennas and I'm going to take it out there and I'm going to see how that does under real world conditions in, in a park and I think I'm going to get really good results with that. So I would definitely recommend this antenna. Down below I'll have links to Ultimax and a direct link to the exact antenna so it'll be easy for you to go to their site and see all about it. Um, if you found this uh, video was very helpful uh, be sure to click like and or subscribe and we hope to see you next time. Steve KB3ORG